Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Lisa and today we are going to be doing a charcoal pillow mask. Um, I got this as part of my Christmas, it's from the brand 7th Heaven. Um, I will, by the way this is not sponsored, not sponsored. Um, yeah, so it's a brand 7th Heaven, I will link their Instagram down below and if I can find the website I will link the website down below. But you can buy these from Boots, so Cinema Superdrug. Um, you can buy them from loads of different stores. Um, and they're not that expensive. I think you could buy them for like a pound or one half fifty day or something like that. So they're relatively relatively cheap. Um, but I thought I would... I've wanted to try charcoal masks for a while. Um, so today, we're going to try it out. First off, I'm going to go and clean this makeup off um, and to do that I'm going to be using my body shop Camryle Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. So I wanted to share this with you guys because I know that a lot of people that watch my videos are into their beauty uh, and I'm not really sure what your makeup routines are like. but. I recently came across this a few months ago and I mean I don't wear makeup every day but I do wear it more and more regularly um, and ignore So I bought this and it's, I don't know if you can see it but inside the tub it looks kind of like a solid clean, like solid product but it's actually quite soft and if you can see that that's come off quite easily on my finger um, and basically you just take Depending on how much makeup you've put on, um, you gen genuinely do not need a lot. Um, but you use your fingers, or if you've got claws, like I used to have, then use a brush um, to scoop it out, or a little spatula thing, and then just literally rub it all over your face. Um, and I use this as a first cleanse. Um, I do then go in with. Um, a second cleanse afterwards generally to get the mascara off um, but the second cleanse that I use it's a mixture of different things it can either be um, this simple eye makeup remover or it'll be like a sample that I've got in a beauty box it could be anything Gen generally um, if I don't have any samples um, sort of lying around I will use this um, and this is really good with my skin it's not good for everybody's skin because it's slightly fragranced so if you do have super sensitive skin um, or my friend who I used to go to college with has rosacea and she said it's not good on her skin at all um, and it doesn't doesn't really work well with her skin um, but um, if you feel that it would, I mean the ingredients are on the back so you know check it out before you buy it but personally for me this is generally my second cleanse um, I haven't yet tried anything sort of like the retinoids or anything like that that's sort of like a, that are more of a chemical cleanse and a physical cleanse not that brave yet <laughs> um, but yeah anyway enough of me rambling I'm gonna go take my makeup off with these and then we'll get to cracking on with this. So I'm back with no makeup on. Yes, it's freaky. Yes, I have crazily light brows. But we're going to ignore that. Ignore that and focus on this. So I've already opened it. Um, and generally what I would do um, is just slowly fold it up because it's hard to get the stuff out and then as it all not congeals as it all like comes towards the top um, I then use a brush um, because I don't want to get any on the brows um, and then I use a brush to apply it to So the mask 
mask is on I started using the brush but then it started to dry really quickly and go really weird so I just moved on to using my hands and now I'm just wiping them clean I'm gonna go wash them in a minute but I'm gonna leave this 20 to 25 minutes and we'll see what happened okay I'm back this is very tight on the face um, it mostly dried actually it's all dry now there's a little bit of wet here but I'm going to take it off because it's been So weird. So, so my face looks a bit red, but it always looks red after I've done a face mask. There was a little bit left over down here, so I need to wash. You can ignore the lighting; it's being stupid. I need to wash my face, um, with a warm, with a with a flannel. I'm going to moisturise it because it feels really weird. still feels like I've got the mask on if I'm honest. It feels a bit... I don't know. I think they do. I will check the ingredients. Um, but it does have alcohol in it. Oh my god, it has al aqua water is the first ingredient. Polyvinyl alcohol and alcohol. Alcohol dinat or something are the two second ingredients. So, um, alcohol does dry your skin out. So, it's probably why I do feel like it is a bit dry. But I do have. The Garnier Moisture Bomb. Um, something weird keeps happening to my camera and I don't know what it is. But I do have the Garnier Moisture Bomb um, Moisturiser. Um, and I'll be using that just to moisturise my face. Um, but looking up close... Um, looking up close, um, rather than pulling some of the blackheads out, it seems to have sort of stayed in there. So I might need to wash, use some exfoliator around my nose. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll try it again. I've got another one to try. So we'll try it again in about a week. We'll try a different one. But yeah i liked it it wasn't as painful um i think because i do get blackheads on my nose and my chin that they were the places that they hurt because obviously it was pulling them out but and that sounds really gross i know it does but that's what a mask is supposed to do when it peels off it peels off well the charcoal ones are supposed to get rid of and detoxify your skin get rid of blackheads so it's done its job for the most part so yeah i'm happy with that i will be using the other one that i've got and if i do like them both i will be purchasing some more um so if you do like these testing out videos then please give this one a like subscribe and um, comment down below click the bell button do all the good stuff and until next time be kind be happy and stay true to you don't forget to enter my giveaway and i'll see you soon